welcome to Lenovo's press conference here at IFA 2014. I'm overwhelmed. So many people here. Great that you're all here. We have some exciting products to share with you. So, um, welcome. My name is Jochen Schropp. I will be taking you uh, through the next hour with uh, all the heads off that are, of course, here from Lenovo. Um, I will not tell you to turn your phones off. Of course, we want you to tweet along. If you feel that way, we have a great hashtag for you. Lenovo IFA, that is. Uh, so please feel free to Twitter along about the product, about what you see today, and just feel comfortable. Okay. Before we start, I would like to introduce you to the main speakers today. So uh, first off, please get up and uh, show yourself if you would like to. First off is Emma de Lancasson, president of Lenovo EMEA, who will talk about the success of Lenovo and of course the ambitions that lie ahead. Nice to see you, hello. Um, we have Colin Giles. SVP Global Sales for Mobile, and he will share the vision and ambition of Lenovo Mobile. You will be, of course, very excited about that because the phones, I think, I haven't seen at least in Germany, so we'll see about that. Uh, who else is here? Jeff Meredith, hello. He will be uh, talking about the two new handsets and about colored socks. You shared that with me uh, behind stage. <laughs> Jeff Meredith is the VP of Marketing for our mobile business group and uh, we'll close with some uh, Q&A of course where we will invite the Lenovo CMO David Roman to join us, hello. And we have Dilip Batia, yes, I haven't forgotten about you. Good that you're here as well, VP of Marketing and Design for our PC group and you will be showing off two new PCs, wonderful. So after the Q&A of course you're invited to try the products, we have uh, people that are going to be bringing products around. You, have, you can, of course, ask more questions. Um, but to kick things off, I would like to welcome you on stage, Emma de la Casson. Hello. And thank you for the friendly for the friendly Entführung. Guten Tag and uh, willkommen bei the Nord. Now, before I embarrass myself further, I'm going to switch to English. And most of you actually uh, are probably in this audience uh, not necessarily uh, German. So I stand here, I'm the guy with a long last name, as your host for this press conference, and also as the, the head of uh, uh, EMEA for Only Normal Businesses. And I'm particularly proud to be in front of you today because we just had uh, a fantastic year that has elapsed. And this is very special for me to be here because I joined the group actually a year ago. And my first act, having joined the group, was to come to IFA. I happen to love Berlin as well, but IFA is a great event. So it's kind of an anniversary uh, to be here. And a year ago, as some of you may recall, we announced a lot of great products. And hopefully you'll share with me the view that we're topping it off this year with great announcements. So it's a year of milestones, in particular in the PC business to start with, and we'll talk about all our different businesses. The PC business, we're now number one. We've been number one all year for 12 months running, and the gap is getting wider. So we're nearly at 20% market share, this is worldwide, and we have, as I said, widened the gap to competition. And in EMEA, it's pretty much the same story and the same type of curve. So we clocked last quarter at 18% share in the PC business. And now we're number one in Germany. Being in Germany, I have to share that with you, but it's not the only country. We're actually number one in 15 countries currently in the NBA. In 11 countries now, we're greater than 25% market share. So a very, very steady growth. And by the way, we don't think it's over yet. Now, many in the industry over the last couple of years have spoken about uh, the death of the PC. Well, those news were greatly exaggerated as the, goes the famous saying, we see growth in this business right now. We've seen growth last quarter. We see growth in this coming, in this going quarter that we're in the midst in. And it remains a $200 billion market opportunity. So this is one that will continue to go after and grow. We still have growth left for sure in the MEA. But it's not just about PC Lenovo now. This is also about different products, starting with tablets. So as you may have read, worldwide, we ship now more smartphones than PCs. In EMEA, it's a 60-40 split. 
So we ship 40% of our volume now is based on tablet and smartphone, and obviously growing. So nearing the 50-50 mark, hopefully soon. I've pictured here the Yoga tablet. This is not an accident. The Yoga tablet to me is a perfect example of what characterized one of the core values of Lenovo, and that's the attachment in its DNA to innovation and R&D. In a category, the tablet that was fairly well defined and very competitive, we put new life by coming up with a design and a form factor that was clearly differentiated. And as a result, we're now number three in market share in the world, but also number three in EMEA with nearly 9% market share. So innovation will remain a cornerstone of our company, and you'll see that in all of our product categories. Now in phones and in mobile, of course, I will not steal any of uh, Colin's thunder, just a little bit. <laughs> but in the MEA, what we have done is we have launched the devices in the emerging market part of the MEA. So we're now present in 27 countries, most of which are not in, West, all of which for, the, for this matter, are not in Western Europe, but in the emerging markets part of Europe. The East, Middle East, and Africa. But the real story is that Lenovo, which was sort of nowhere, as far as I can tell, in the smartphone business two or three years ago, has managed now to become number four in the world, and that is before the acquisition of Motorola. Post-acquisition, if and when this deal closes, it will, of course, propel us to be number three. This took place on the back of very solid financials. I know most of you are interested in products, so I'm not going to spend too much time on, on, on financials, but as you all know, we released our quarterly number just a few weeks ago, and we recorded again record profits and record revenue. In EMEA alone, we're quite proud to announce that uh, we have grown revenues 50%, that's 5-0, 50% in the quarter year on year. So a very spectacular growth, but by the way, it's not just 50%, it's that it happened in all markets, in all products, in all segments. So we're firing on all cylinders, and we think are establishing a very strong basis to continue to grow. Now, Lenovo is changing. I think all of you have read the news that uh, we announced our intention to acquire IBM System X, as well as Motorola earlier this year. And we've always said this deal will close before the end of the calendar year, and we remain true to this. You'll understand that I can't yet get into many details, or any details at all, given the fact that we are still separate, distinct companies. But we're very excited about those two additions to the family, because in everything we do, we have publicly said and can reiterate that ultimately we want to lead. We want to become number one, everything that we enter. Who would have thought eight years ago when we acquired the IBM PC business that we would today stand in front of you being number one? We want to repeat that story with smartphone, we'll repeat it with tablets, we want to repeat it with the server business. And those acquisitions are a key cornerstone of that strategy. So with this, Jochen, I think I'll give it back to you and I'll let you delve into the world of mobile and eventually of products with the subsequent speaker. Thank you. Thank you, Emma. And uh, I think Colin is ready to talk about the strategy in smartphone business. So welcome, Colin Giles. Welcome everybody to this year's IFA press conference. I'm Colin Giles, as you've uh, already been introduced. I'm Senior Vice President for the Global Sales for Lenovo's business, uh, mobile business group. It's not actually my first IFA here, but this year is my first with Lenovo. Uh, and I'm still fairly new to the company. Uh, I guess you could say I'm still in my honeymoon period. Been here for about four months or so. But I can say that it really is personally an exciting time 
to be in such a truly global company as is Lenovo. You know, it really is a multinational company, and the culture is just really great. You know, everyone is just so energized, and everyone takes ownership for what needs to get done. And so I'm very, very excited to be here and to be now part of the Lenovo family. You know, Lenovo has been making some great strides in the mobile space over the last few years. You know, since the beginning of 2011, when Lenovo entered the China market and embraced and captured that very, very uh, aggressively booming market of China, we managed to gradually and rapidly build up our scale to success. And in fact, in just two years, we've been able to outpace our competitors to catch uh, the number two spot by the end of 2012. But I have some really great news here today as well, because according to IDC in the last quarter in China, Lenovo was positioned as number one in what is such a significantly aggressive, competitive, and very exciting market. We've also quickly expanded into many other emerging countries, particularly in Asia Pacific, and then also in Europe, Middle East, and Africa. And we've taken some very good positions in a number of key markets, markets like Indonesia and Russia, where we have some very good positions. And today, Lenovo branded smartphones are shipped to 36 countries worldwide. And according to IDC, Lenovo is now the number four smartphone brand globally. And in fact, me being relatively new to the company, I think I can honestly say that really, that really is quite an amazing feat for what a, a small company in the, in the mobile business has done in the last two years. It's been a phenomenal success what you've seen from Lenovo on the PC side as well as on the mobile side. And I've also had experience with other Chinese companies and I think I can say with some credibility that Lenovo is the most global Chinese company out there at this point. And this puts us in a great position to be able to take on the world. I believe that the success of Lenovo will come from the fact that we are a truly global company, that we understand consumers, and I think that Lenovo really is unique as an international organization, and that this will support us to become one of the fastest growing mobile brands in the world. As Emma already said, what makes it even more exciting now is the acquisition of Motorola Mobility. You know, it's been quite a hot topic around the world. We've heard many times about the fact that this could really be an opportunity for Lenovo to be able to disrupt the industry. Well, we're still on track to close this deal by the end of this year. And when we do finally close this deal, then it really will be a major milestone for us. Now, we're still going through the acquisition process, and so I'm not able today to be able to discuss any of the details. But what I can share with you is that Lenovo will gain not just one of the most recognizable brands in the world, but over 85 years of industry-leading innovation and expertise as well as a world-class R&D team of over 2,000 highly experienced engineers. And these are the same guys who have already introduced really great products in the market, such as the Droid, Moto X, Moto G, Moto E, and the beautifully designed Moto 360. And so, by combining the strengths and the expertise of both Motorola Mobility and Lenovo, we are setting ourselves up to be the new challenger in the industry to take on the big boys in mobile. And in fact, the combined sales of both Lenovo and Motorola Mobility will already make us the world's number three smartphone provider. It will make it so much easier for us to enter large developed markets such as the US and here in Western Europe. And it will also make Lenovo now even stronger 
and a much stronger competitor in rapidly growing markets all around the world like Latin America and India. So when we have both brands under one roof, we will have the greatest opportunity to be able to change the way that people communicate all around the world. And our aspiration is to bring millions of customers the best mobile integrated experience with more choices, with devices that look great and feel really great to use. So how will we achieve this? Well, by focusing on our combined core strengths to lay a strong foundation for our business success globally. And this includes engaging our consumers to understand them better and bring products to market faster and bring them with greater experiences for our consumers. It really will be a powerful combination we'll be able to use Lenovo's understanding of emerging countries and also of the PC world, while at the same time be able to make use of Moto's authentic Android approach serving mature market customers. With our strong China-based supplier network, which is the industry's best, and our in-house manufacturing capabilities, we will be able to deliver best costs quality, and also efficiency. And then all of these combined together will be a winning formula to take on the mobile world and bring great innovation and experience to customers. Now, I'm sure you're waiting now to see our great products. And so as part of this Lenovo story, we've developed the Vibe series of smartphones, which really are all about the user experience driven innovation that we're creating for our consumers where we listen to customers voices and then we respond quickly to develop products for their wants and for their desires and this year we've gone all out to develop a new range of vibe smartphones that are distinctly different from anything else that you will see on the market today and so, here to tell you more about this new generation of five smartphones is my colleague, Jeff Meredith. Jeff, over to you. So, I'm gonna switch things up a little bit and go to the backstage, uh, just to be different. You guys can use the screen, stare here as well, um, but I'll talk from this stage. So as Colin mentioned, my name is Jeff Meredith, and I'm responsible for marketing for our mobile business at Lenovo. It's an exciting day for us uh, here at Lenovo, as we get to unveil to you two new entries in our Gen 2 of the Vibe product family. Vibe is our top-of-the-line smartphone franchise, and today we're announcing the new Vibe Z2 and the new Vibe X2. These two phones accompany the Vibe Z2 Pro, which was launched in August, and together they invigorate and refresh the overall Vibe franchise. At Lenovo, Vibe really stands for three key things. Number one, our spirit of pioneering. To be quite honest, at Lenovo, we just like to do things a little differently, and I think Vibe really signifies that. Number two, we have a strong conviction to make sure that we solve real consumer challenges with our products. And number three, we have a real passion for delivering unparalleled value with absolutely no compromises. So that gives you a perspective of what Vibe is for us. Let me start with the new Z2. Okay, this 5.5 inch uh, new Vibe Z2 has a Qualcomm quad-core uh, processor, the Snapdragon 64-bit processor. And the three things that I really want to highlight for you today touch on the key pain points that we feel like we've solved with this product. Number one, the 5.5-inch extra bright HD screen really works outstanding in bright sunlight. That's point one. Point two, the 13-megapixel camera with the BIS sensor enables brilliant night shots, something that's somewhat of a weakness for many smartphones. 
And number three, the sharper selfie. Eight megapixel front camera. Make sure that all those millennials out there that love uh, to take selfies get the absolute best shot. So that's a quick look at the new Vibe Z2. Let me transition now to the star of the show, the Vibe X2. I'm very pleased, very proud to introduce you to the world's first layered smartphone, the new Vibe X2. So, as you saw from the video, the X2 has three colorful original layers, and most certainly those represent imaginative design, fun design in fact. However, they also represent a classy and subtle distinction that we think is evident in the phone. Let me quickly tell you about our inspiration for the Vibe design. First, we simply took a look at the world around us. When you look, you see an endless layer of combinations of layers. Uh, whether it's in our food, our fashion, our nature, even sometimes some of us wear crazy socks like the ones I have on today that sort of show our own personal flair. So, that was one inspiration. Number two, is simply smartphones. If you look at smartphones today, the front and back are design. So we ask ourselves, why not look at another dimension for design and look at the sides and see if there's something that we can incorporate and merge those two inspirations together. So out of that came the Vibe X2 design, which we feel is iconic, yet simple, colorful, and yet elegant. So we're launching the Vibe X2 today in five color combinations. Charcoal, gold, white, red, and bamboo. Each of the five designs has three unique layers that pattern after the core color. Though we're launching in five color options today, I think you can all see the endless possibilities with this design framework. We have lots of opportunity to explore with materials, with colors, and with finishes in the future. And you can rest assured that you'll see an array of new X2 originals as we go forward. So I've shared with you the inspiration for the X2. But really that's only half of the story, half of the narrative. The precise craftsmanship that's required to actually deliver this innovative design to market completes the story. And if I think about the overall theme, this idea of handmade spirit with high-tech manufacturing is really what prevails itself when you're talking about the X2. So let's take a quick look at another video that'll help you give a deeper dive understanding of where we've gone and where we've come with the X2 design. It's because of the infinite combinations of normal daily things that makes everyone's life different and unique. Our Web X2 concept is not just for looks. It's a thoughtful combination of color, material, and performance, making million of combinations possible. The challenges of making Vibe X2 is creating a product with a seamless layer design. Each layer is actually coated three times. We have a specific jig and fixture to assemble the middle layer to the top and bottom. To create this bamboo layer, we had to travel across China, and we finally found the right bamboo material. 
And this specific material only grows during the spring months. We can use other new materials, composites, glass, and environments to give this type of flexibility in design. Integrating our technologies into the layer design of the Vibex 2 is an amazing feat. I'm also sure the users will find the Vibex 2 to be not only stylish, but with a very powerful heart inside. Our Vibex 2 is so much more than human design. It's an infinite combination of possibilities. So there's no question that X2 is a beautiful design, and we're extremely proud of its good looks. There's a lot of pride in Lenovo for this new phone. But it's not one-dimensional. In fact, it has brawn and brains to go along with its beauty. So let me take a few minutes to talk to you about the brawn of the X2. We've partnered with MediaTek to be the first global smartphone manufacturer to launch the new 6595 processor. This is the world's first true 8-core SLC with LTE. This powerful processor combines amazing octa-core performance with ultra-low power consumption. Through MTK's Core Pilot technology, we're able to unlock the power of all 8 cores and improve the battery efficiency by 20%. True brawn of the product. When you look at other technology highlights associated with the X2, it runs 4.4 Android KitKat, has a five has a five inch full HD screen, super thin with 7.27 millimeters, 120 grams light, 13 megapixel front or rear and five megapixel front cameras, and it's a 4G LTE phone. So that gives you a perspective of the brawn of the product. Let's talk now about the brains. With the next iteration of our Vive 2.0 UI, we focused hard on everyday user experiences. We really tried to identify those things that mattered most to our users and challenge ourselves to solve their obstacles. We've sought to add a higher level of perceptiveness to our UI so that we learn from user interactions, as well to make it more responsive so that we give fast access to what matters most. Let me give you a few examples of how we've done this. So first, fast access to your favorite apps. If we think about perceptiveness, there's an intuitiveness that we were driving for. First, we wanted to make sure that those key apps that you use every day were instantly accessible. And our goal was two quick taps. So first tap to unlock the phone. Second tap gets you your app and you're into Facebook. Now the bubbles that you saw on the previous screen hold your most frequent apps and they're updated frequently and continuously based on your usage behavior. Next, let's talk about the responsiveness. How many of us have been in a situation, I know for me it's oftentimes with my children, where there's a great photo opportunity, they're not yelling at each other, they're actually having fun, so I want to capture the moment in a hurry. I grab my phone, I turn it on, I open the camera app, I wait for it to load, and they're back to like hitting each other. So <laughs> I've missed it. So with our new Vibex 2, we have instant shot capabilities. You grab the phone, you bring it to a camera shooting position, it instantly turns on, turns the camera on, all you have to do is touch the screen, you grab the shot. So no more missed photo opportunities. Next, our core target for this phone is a millennial. And if you talk to millennials about their smartphone for more than a minute or two, they'll all talk about selfies. So we've enhanced the selfie experience with this beautification bar, so that if you slide to the right, blemishes go away, your skin looks perfect, and your post makes you look like an absolute model every time. A great feature um, of our new X2. In terms of further enhancement to the selfie experience, there's one more thing that we've done, which is natural gesture controls for perfect shots. So, sometimes you hold the camera in kind of crazy ways for your selfie experience. With these natural gestures, you can blink, you can hold a peace sign, you can say cheese, you can tap the screen anywhere, or you can have a three second countdown. So selfies made much easier. 
So we've talked about beauty, we've talked about brawn, we've talked about brains. There's one more dimension of the Vibe X2 that I want to share with you. One final layer uh, of innovation. The new Vibe extensions. So Vibe extensions are custom design accessories that fit perfectly to the phone and enhance your mobile experience. There's two accessories that we're launching here today. The first is the speaker extension, powered by JBL Audio. It enables you to really enhance, amp up the sound of your music and your video. Plus the cool kickstand feature makes for great hands-free viewing. Second is the extension battery. The battery adds 75% more juice to your phone, enables you to go another day or more without having to charge. Perfectly fit to the phone, designed at the same time that we did the overall product. So that's the new Vive X2. A combination of beauty, of brawn, of brains, and beyond with the accessories. The world's first layered smartphone. I'm very excited to have had an opportunity to present this phone to you today. It's something with Lenovo we're extremely proud of. A lot of hard work has gone into it, and it's something that we were really excited to bring to you today. So I hope that you have an opportunity to spend a little bit more time with us, get a demo from one of our uh, ambassadors, a hands-on experience, and experience it up close. Thank you very much for all of your attention. Thank you, Jeff. As you mentioned, we'll be able to get hands-on with those phones. They look very exciting, so thank you for that. But uh, we have more innovations, of course. This time from our Vice President of Marketing and Design of the PC Group, Dylan Batia. You're going to be talking about what's new in the PC world. Thank you very much. That's right. Thank you, Jochen. So that's right. Uh, it's not just about phones. The PC market uh, as Amar talked about, is a fantastic market. It's a 300 million unit market, 200 billion unit opportunity. So the PC is really alive and kicking. It's not going anywhere. So today I'm about to talk to you about two new products. But before I talk about the uh, two products, let me talk a little bit about the PC. The PC market has evolved. Over the last couple of years, it has morphed into a variety of form factors, multi-mode, yoga, tabletop, all-in-one. You can go on and on. But fundamentally, what drives our behavior, if you talk to our engineers, if you talk to our marketing people, is that we believe that the technology should adapt to the user. We believe in giving freedom to the people, the ability to use the technology, how they want to be able to use it. So the two new products that I'm about to talk to you about deliver on the promise of freedom, deliver on the promise of technology adapting to you as opposed to the other way around. So the first product that I'm about to talk to you was really done by observing how families behave at home. I mean, take my own family, as an example, I've got three kids, a six-year-old, a seven-year-old, and a 12-year-old. When I get home, they'll get their homework done, they'll be on their tablets, they'll be on their smartphones, they'll be on the all-in-ones, and they're all up in their different groups coming together. What we wanted to do was, how do we bring the family together? And so the next product that I'm about to talk to you, is it an all-in-one? Is there a tablet? Is there a tabletop? The answer is yes. Introducing the world's thinnest and lightest portable all-in-one. The new Horizon 2S. It's a gorgeous product. It has two different modes. It comes in your standard all-in-one mode and it comes in the lay flat mode. This is a gorgeous device. Look how light it is. It's only five and a half pounds, or two and a half kilograms as we will say in Europe. So, I'm really excited about this device. Let me tell you a little more about what this device does. It comes in two modes as we talked about, the stand mode and the flat mode. It also is designed for the modern family life. 
So it looks gorgeous in your living room, in your study, anywhere. It's very sleek, very thin. When I brought this device back home, but my kids were all over it because now it allows me to play games with them. It allows me to use different apps. And I'll take you some of, some of those things, but it really brings the families together. And that's why we call it the tabletop PC. It has over 60 games and 60 apps that are installed on every uh, one of the Horizons that we ship. So last year we launched the Horizon 27 inch. <laughs> This is the little brother, the lightest portable all-in-one. Let me show you a quick uh, a demo. Jochen, wait, you wanna join me? Let me show you uh, some of the cool things that the Horizon does. Okay. So as you can see on this interface, this is called the Aura interface. What this interface does is, so Lenovo is not just about hardware, it's about the user experience. So the software that we've created is specifically designed for touchscreen and in a horizontal mode. Okay. So you can see you have apps that are app shop, you've got a photo app, you've got a little video, music, education. But the feature that I really love about this product is, is really solving a pain point. I know on my phone, I take lots of pictures. I'm sure you all do too. Yep. Right? How do you upload it? What, what, how do you make it easier? Well, what if I could take a picture of you and just shake the device and the pictures automatically come on the horizon? That would be great. I still send emails actually. It um, takes forever. Yeah. So, let's see. so it's very easy for me to go in and take a picture here. I hope you have that beautifier on that thing. Like that too. <laughs> yeah, so let me go in here okay. and take a picture real quick. And I'm gonna take a picture, smile, say cheese. Cheese. All right, I'm gonna take a picture of the audience over here. And this is using the beautiful Lenovo uh, Vibe X offering. And then I go in into my Aura interface, which I can download very easily. And then I can basically all I have to do is shake it in here. Okay. All right. Looks like uh, Murphy's uh, <laughs> set in over here. But you get the concept where you can do up to four different phones yeah. that can uh, come in over here. And once you have the pictures in here, it's easy to basically manipulate uh, these devices draw all these devices uh, together, right? So you've got your audio, video, and everything. Great. Thank all right. Much. Thank you. Andrew's shaking. All right. Thank you, Dylan. So in summary, the Horizon comes with a core processor. It is 15 millimeters thin. It's available in starting in uh, November, and uh, and really excited about this new product. Next, I want to talk to you about another product. So that was a great consumer product. The next product is about our ThinkPad offering. Our ThinkPad offerings are known in the industry as the best in class. We dominate the space in, in the industry. It is known for relentless innovation, purposeful design, trusted quality. So the next offering that I'm about to talk about is also gives freedom to the business users, right? We talked about freedom for the end users. I want to talk about freedom for the uh, business class users. So the next device is, gives them the freedom to use their technology anywhere they want to. So the newest offering that we are announcing is our ThinkPad Helix offering. <laughs> It is the best business class two-in-one offering in the marketplace. Very light, less than 800 grams, and does everything, including 3G, 4G LTE capability, meets the requirements of the individuals, 
but also the IT requirements around security, manageability, smart card reader, you name it, this has everything but the kitchen sink. So really excited about this offering. This comes in five different modes. It comes in the flash, your standard laptop mode that you can use by attaching a keyboard with it. It comes in a stand mode, tent mode, tablet mode, and you can easily attach it to a dock where you can attach a nice 29 inch monitor, think vision monitor to go with it. So it really gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of how you want to use it. In the stand mode, it's great if I'm basically showing a presentation to a customer. The tent mode, I could be in an airplane and be able to watch a movie on my small tray. In the tablet mode, I could take notes. It's got a full pen, digitizer, and the full desktop mode. So in summary, you can see the features of the new Helix offering. It's 11.6 inch screen, supports the latest Windows operating system, has TPM chip encryption, smart card reader oper uh, adaption. It also has the cool quick shot cover. As I've talked about, we observe how people use their products. This is a great example of how we look at our technology. So how often when we want to take a picture on our tablet, it's hard to do it. Well, what if I could just do a simple quick shot cover and the camera instantly comes on and I can take a video and audio right away. So again, something very simple, but really exciting and adapting to end users and solving their pain points. So in summary, really excited about the new offerings. I hope you get a chance to come back and take a look at our new products. I'll hand it back to you, Yogi. Thank you.